Audio cues in VS Code provide an audible alert when something happens in the editor, such as hitting a breakpoint, and can also provide an audible alert to the editor's current state. Now, one of the primary use cases of these audio cues is accessibility. So if you have a screen reader that you're using or you have limited vision, enabling these audio cues can make errors and warnings in the file really stand out or hitting a breakpoint, for example. But you also might find that you just like having a little bit of an extra alert and having that audio alert when something important happens or when you're navigating through your code. Now here I've enabled a few cues by default. So I've enabled one for errors. When we actually navigate to a line with errors on it, it's going to go and play a little sound. So I'll place my cursor right here below that line and watch when I upper arrow here, it's gonna play a little sound. I'll go down and then up again. So we can hear that sound again. And then I've also enabled one for warnings and it's gonna play a slightly different sound. So I'll do an up arrow here to the line with a warning on it. You can see it's a shorter version of the error sound. So every time I navigate to one of those lines with either errors or warnings on it, it is going to play one of those sounds. The cue I personally find most helpful though is the one that plays when you hit a breakpoint. So here I've actually added a breakpoint on this line up here. I'm going to actually go and trigger it. And you can see it when it played that little sound when we hit the breakpoint, and it does provide a nice alert. Uh, and again, it's helpful even if you're not relying on a screen reader or needing these accessibility features. Now, audio cues are disabled by default unless you are using VS Code in screen reader mode, in which case they will be turned on. But you can actually go and configure them to either explicitly enable cues all the time or control when they're being enabled and when they're going to be disabled. So let's open up the settings here with control comma or command comma on Mac and search for audio cue. And you can see here's a list of all of the different audio cues in VS Code. As we're looking through the list here, you'll see that the default value for these is auto. And this means that VS Code is going to play the cue if you have a screen reader connected and VS Code is in screen reader mode, but by default, it's not going to play the audio cue. In a few cases though, I've gone and turned on the audio cues explicitly so that they're always going to be played. So for audio cue line has air, for example, I went and switched this to on. So it's always going to play the audio cue. Now, if you're using a screen reader and you're using VS Code in that screen reader mode and you want to disable one of these cues, uh, um, the audio cues here, you can also go and set it to off instead. And this will mean that the audio cue is never going to be played. So you can use on and off to explicitly control when the audio cue is going to be enabled and disabled, or just leave it on auto if you want the audio cue to play when you have a screen reader attached.